welcome back to another random one wheel ride. This ride is a continuation of the previous ride where I went to get my package. So I've done that, I've picked up my package and I'm heading home. It's the same route basically, but in reverse, so it'll look a little bit different. It's safer going this way now because I can see the traffic coming my way. I don't have to constantly look over my shoulder to make sure that there's not a car that's not seeing me and then possibly hitting me. Let's speed through some of this. I had the same issue at this intersection as I did before where cars were just not going to yield and give me right away. But at least this time I can see them coming and I can time my crossing so I can get across safely. going to speed through some of this just because there's nearly not much to say and not much to look at. On the way back, in order to keep things interesting, I decided I would cut through uh, a parking lot so I didn't go the exact same way I came in. I also thought this would be safer to go through the parking lot because I assumed it would be smooth and flat. But it turned out to be more hazardous than I would have thought. It's hard to tell in the video, but the pavement was very wobbly and wavy and had a lot of bumps in it. There were so much waves and ripples in the pavement that there were a couple of times where I actually almost lost my balance. And normally I can navigate speed bumps without any issues because I already had a couple of close calls. I didn't even want to try anything with this speed bump. In the previous video, I mentioned that I had a two camera system set up for this ride. I had still the GoPro and now I had my phone on a gimbal. And I also mentioned that it was a good thing that I brought the phone out for the first time because unfortunately the GoPro is about to die here in a few seconds. I will say that my GoPro is a little bit older generation, but it's still in really good condition. But I'm not really happy with the overall performance, especially when it comes to battery life. So the rest of this ride is just going to be footage from my phone that's mounted on a gimbal. I'll speed us through this section as well. So we're coming up to the end of this ride, and it's a funny thing. The whole reason why I had a package delivered at a local locker is because at my apartment building, it's really hard to get packages other than the US mail. So I get all geared up to go get my package. I ride on the sidewalk that I'm least comfortable with, and then when I get back, what do I notice? An Amazon truck. And not only that, but somebody had propped open the gate to my apartment complex, so the driver would have been able to get in and deliver my package directly to my door. Oh well, at least I had a good ride. Until the next random one-wheel ride, take care. Yeah.